Hey, Michael, Henry, it's Marion. I know you still haven't returned my phone calls, not from a lack of trying, but you know, a girl could really use a call once in a while. You know, uh, there's some emails going around by some of your unions, um, your sister, brother unions, um, where you're talking about how we are anti-labor or union busting. Um, let me make that crystal clear. We are pro-labor because we are labor. We're just retired. What we're anti is being screwed by our former unions. Um, the CWA 1180 actually even put out an email tonight calling us union busting and said we were well-funded. We are. You know why? Because people don't like when you mess with retirees, 9-11 responders, disabled New York City retirees. And that then makes you a very well-funded organization, very well-supported organization. So you also talk about Medicare Advantage plan being really wonderful. Well, a couple of our retirees started uh, seeing their doctors um, towards the end of the year for uh, appointments. And guess what they also found? A notice that they would not be taking Medicare Advantage plans, whether they were in United, Humana, or Aetna. So you think that this is a wonderful plan to start forcing people into until your own doctors stop taking it. And this says... As of January 23rd, these physicians would no longer be accepting these Medicare Advantage plans. So wake up, guys. Smell the coffee. This organization isn't going anywhere. It is a huge organization. We are not growing in numbers. We are just over 50,000 people, and we're getting bigger every day. Don't mess with retirees. Remember, we were once you. You will one day be us. And if your unions, or former unions, tried to take away your health care, what would you do? It's okay, you could call us. We'll tell you what to do. Because now we've been duplicating what we've been doing in other states, helping other retirees who are using the former President Trump's rule that allowed them to force retirees into a Medicare Advantage plan in order to take the subsidy, to subsidize their plans, and take that savings. Yes, savings is absolutely wonderful. Totally give it to you but not on the backs of a retired person. And if you don't know how to negotiate to put savings in place, I'm sure there's, if you take the time to call us back, we can help you be able to find those savings and ignore things like Mr. Garrido or Mr. Variali saying, there's no dead people on the health insurance. Well, in the course of our litigation, we did actually find people that the city was paying for for five years that were deceased. We found a lot of people that were not eligible for plans. We found people that are still in plans that they shouldn't be on. So call us. We'd be glad to help you out here. You know why? We used to be labor leaders, delegates, presidents, commissioners, attorneys, and other civil service labor. We probably know your jobs better than you do. <laughs> and that's why, because we hired two law firms, sued the city of New York, one in Supreme Court, and any day now, I'm sure, we're going to win an appellate court which is why you're running around trying to scare the hell out of city council, telling them that they must do this to protect us when we've been educating them for the last year that this cannot be changed because it's the only thing that protects all of us. Remember something, guys. These plans, they're their insurance too. This is how knuckleheads you are. You don't even realize you're trying to sell the same people up the river or down the river <laughs> on a plan that you're trying to, 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 to Shanghai I mean, guys, hello? You really need to understand your benefits and you need to understand where they come from. This law has been in effect since 1967, Administrative Code 12-126. It is the only thing that protects all of us. The city is trying to get it away from you because of something that happened in the 70s during the Robert, but during when Robert Lynn was young and uh, other, other officials were, in, were around. You need to know your history. You need to know what the city did to the retired, to employees at the time when there was a fiscal crisis in 1975. Learn your history, my friends. You'll realize that you are being used and you're being lied to. And remember, we are labor. We are retired labor. We love our unions. Just don't mess with our benefits because we earned and paid for them. Have a nice night, guys.